Greetings, this is Nathan from Station X. The WannaCry ransomware needs to be a wake-up call for all. What many security experts, including myself, predicted for this year was an increase in ransomware infections, and particularly on soft targets with low security budgets like small businesses, hospitals, and Joe Public. Well, it looks like the day of reckoning is here for many businesses with the spread of the WannaCry ransomware, a.k.a. WannaDecryptor, a.k.a. WannaCryptor, a.k.a. WCry. And you may well want to cry if you get this ransomware on your systems, which encrypts the victim's files and holds them ransom unless an amount is paid in Bitcoin. WannaCry first appeared around February 2017, but has now been updated, looking different to previous versions. It has infected tens of thousands of computers in over 75 countries as of recording and is spreading. Currently, according to Avast, most of the infections are coming from Russia, the Ukraine, India and Taiwan, but that is increasing. You can watch it spread. If you go to this URL here, you can see this is a map of the current infections, or at least known by Intel anyway. Allegedly has managed to infiltrate the internal computer systems of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Russia and Investigative Committee of Russia. UK hospitals have effectively shut down and are turning away non-emergency patients. Currently, some 16 NHS organisations across the UK are affected, including several hospital trusts that have had their files encrypted. Users are told to cough up about $300 in bitcoins to restore the encrypted files. A number of Spanish firms were among the apparent victims elsewhere in Europe too. Telecom's giant Telefonica said in a statement that it was aware of a cybersecurity incident. Power firm Iberdrola and utility provider Gas Natural were also reported to have suffered from the outbreak. The WannaCry ransomware attacks are initiated using an SMB version 2 remote code execution in the Windows OS. This means it acts as a worm and moves from victim machine to victim machine as long as those machines are vulnerable. Each machine searching for new victims, meaning it spreads like wildfire. The stolen NSA Eternal Blue exploit, which was made publicly available through the Shadow Broker dump on April the 14th, 2017. This could have been used to weaponize the ransomware to exploit the SMB version 2 remote code vulnerability. Initial delivery of the ransomware will likely be through phishing attacks or other simple mechanisms. So it could be through clicking on a link and opening up an archive that has been sent via email that causes the initial infection. The WannaCry ransomware shows a timer countdown warning that the payment amount will be raised after three days and the victim will completely lose their personal files after seven days. The transaction statistics of Bitcoin wallets used by WannaCry creators show that some of the victims have already paid the ransom. So who is at risk? Well, anyone running operating systems that are listed in the patch announcement here and have not installed this patch. This patch was released by Microsoft on March the 14th, 2017. However, many companies and organizations, public organizations, have not yet installed the patch to their systems. So how can you prevent WannaCry infection? Well, you need to install the official Windows patch, MS17-010, which closes the SMB server vulnerability used in this ransomware attack. So if you have a Windows system, you need to check if you have the latest Windows update. If you've got the latest Windows update, then you are protected. You don't need to install this patch separately, just as long as you've got the latest patch level. You want to scan all your systems and you want to make sure that MS17-010 is patched and installed. And importantly, you need to make sure that all of your systems are backed up. All important data should be backed up and it should be backed up on drives that are not accessible via your regular system. So external hard drives, NAS, cloud storage. If you have any sort of backup light that's in Dropbox, that can just get encrypted as well or, or other types of syncing backup services. So you want to back up in a way that that backup is isolated from your main system. And you need to have a solid security program going forward so that you take security seriously. 
and you need good people to be able to implement that security program. Weaponizing vulnerabilities into ransomware is not going to go away. If you care about your data and your systems, people and organizations need to take security seriously because attackers are only going to become more ingenious. Ransomware is only going to become more widespread and more damaging. So please patch your systems now. This is Nathan from Station X signing off. If you want to know more about ransomware and how to protect yourself from ransomware, then why not check out our great courses here? Don't forget to like and subscribe.